Mom, she looks so young. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm finally doing Midnight Poppy Land again. Okay, episode 48, I think. I hope, I hope that's where we left off. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, all right. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh no. Come here, Bobby. Need a pillow? A pillow? Tora? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Good thing I picked up this thermometer on the, my way over here. I had a feeling you wouldn't have one. You still got a fever, but this isn't too bad. How can you tell it's a blank? <laughs> okay. Are you sure you're not faking it again? I never faked anything. Why the hell does everyone keep saying that? Can a man fall sick for once in his life? Okay, okay, don't get your panties in a twist now. They say when sick children go to bed grumpy, they wake up with a twisty nose. I've never heard that saying, but okay. Oh, look, he has it. He's wearing the strawberry hair tie. BS. <laughs> you just made that up. Are you still feeling cold? I bet Quincy did this while he was asleep. <laughs> yeah, give me your body heat. Well, aren't you feisty one when you're sick? But don't get too comfortable now. My legs will probably fall asleep before you do. Swish, swish. Thud. Swish, swish. I guess he's just always liked T-Rexes because there's another T-Rex right there. What a cutie. pretty beach so this is what it looks like oh no he's never been and why is he all dirty okay mr bathman must be over there and that quincy brat oh he's hungry hungry will they give me some food torah torah Oh, oh, she looks so pretty in yellow. What a cutie. Tora, look, I found the seashells. You were hoping to find some at the beach, weren't you? <gasps> seashells. Oh, what a cutie. Oh. Mm. I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Oh, what a... oh so cute. Cuteness overload. Uh oh, am I a stranger to you? Hey, hey, don't you start crying again. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll just give these to you, then I'll leave, okay? Oh, I guess he's tr checking if they're watching him. I'll leave these over here, Tora. You can collect them when you feel safe. Wait, what if they get washed away by the tide? I mean, that's possible. No. They won't be if you keep them in your heart. But what if that's not enough for me? Then maybe you'll have to choose. Wait, Poppy. Poppy Len. Oh, found you, you little. Bleep. Yeah. Don't know why the big boss picked you. Out of all the other runs we rounded up on the street last month, we go. Keep pissing me off and see what happens to you. No. Or maybe you would get running away from your adoption center now. No, they weren't treating us right. So you do know what's good for you. Smart kid. Well, we're your family now. As long as you behave, you'll always have a bed to sleep in. And you can even go to school and be a friend. Not a bad deal, eh? Yeah, boss. It's me, Martin. I found the little runt. He's here now at the- Yeah, he got away again. Someone saw him climbing into a truck that was headed with your beat. Don't worry. If he isn't broken yet, he will be soon. Tora? Are you still awake? I was out? Um, you went silent for a few minutes, but I'm getting pins and needles in my legs already. I thought I was up for it, but your head is even heavier than it looks. <laughs> you just had to sneak in and dig at me, didn't you? <laughs> hey, wanna go to the beach someday? Oh, cutie! Extreme close up. <laughs> Emotional validation. I'll email you. Oh! <laughs> Duh, get away! Ow! I've always thought of it as some trendy self-help catchphrase. Maybe because I've never experienced much of it firsthand before. Or maybe I have, but I was never aware. Like some kind of emotional blind spot. I just know that I feel so much lighter now. It's almost like I was set free from the burden and heaviness that usually comes with the second guessing myself and my emotions. Kiss. Is she gonna go back to kiss him? Oh no, she's- oh, never mind, she's leaving. Hmm. Skip, skip. And all that came from a very simple permission. 
Like, what does all that mean? I'm sorry, babe, but I don't get why you're upset. Isn't it enough that I met you for dinner last week? I'm sorry, babe, I don't see why you should be unhappy. I said I'll let you meet my friend soon. You're, you're being too sensitive. Oh, this is her ex. I just know it. I'm sorry, babe, but it makes me disappointed to know that I've hurt your feelings. I've tried so hard to please you and be a good boyfriend to you, but nothing I do is ever good enough. Yeah, forget that guy, dude. He was terrible. I'm sorry, Jewelry, but that is bleep bullshit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey kid, someone left this behind. Was it the chick who spent almost 10 minutes counting out coins for her groceries? Oh, her umbrella? Oh my gosh, that's- that's poppies! How much for this? 50 bucks, best offer. If you want higher, come down in person. What the heck? Who are you? you? Alright guys, let's go to the next one! Ah! How much for this? 50 bucks, blah blah blah. You get it. 50 bucks? Those are bleep diamonds and that's all you're offering? If those are diamonds, then I'm the king of Narn. <laughs> what kind of energy do you take me for? 50 bucks, take it or leave it. You want higher price? Bring it down to my shop for valuation. Stop wasting my bleep time. And we saw Ben's sister last night at the strip club. No way, was she any good? Any good? She's the star of the whole show, man. Hell, I'd do her in a second if she'd let me. The bleep are you guys talking about? Nothing, man. We're just talking about, um, oh, for bleep's sake. Just say it to his face. Look, no disrespect, Ben, but we know your sister works at Club Miracle. Not gonna lie, she's bleep hot. Yeah, we figured out the moment we saw her. And she came here to pass some bleep to you last month. Well, don't you blink bring that up again. Once I get a hold of enough money, I'm taking her away from that filthy bleep hole. So I'm your sister now, huh? Benjamin J. Johnson? Uh, let's go back to work. We'll have our smoke break later. I guess I should thank you for shaving a few ears off my age, little bro. What are you here for? Rude. I got a nice fat bonus today. I thought I'd pass you some money before heading to work. So you think your mom's dirty? Mom? She looks so young! And so hip too, look at that hair. <laughs> Whoops, I mean your sister. I didn't say that. I said it's the place you work at, not you. Come on, Ben. I'm, you know I'm, open my, I'm, I'm an open-minded woman. Just tell me what you really think already. I mean, I'm making an honest living over here, so what's wrong with that? Okay, so I put on an act here and there, just to get the business flowing. But I'm not cheating, or stealing, or bagging. Besides, these are just implants. Think of them as two plastic blobs sitting on my chest. Look, Mom, that's really uncomfortable to talk about, so just drop it, okay? But you promise you'll leave as soon as I earn enough money to pay off your debt, right? Ben, don't be naive. And you're not? You really think those sleaze bags are into you for who you are? Not what you look like? And you really think I have the luxury to care? I'm just doing the best I can with what I have to keep us alive, okay? And bleep, maybe I am being naive. Because I sure as hell didn't think I'd raise my son to be such a judgmental, self-centered bleep hole. You dumb bleep. <laughs> well, you asked. Bleep, she's back. Whose umbrella is this? The chick that spent 10 minutes counting out her coins for her groceries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all knew it was her. You can remove an item if you don't have enough money for everything. What about that thermometer? It costs the most. I'm sorry, I need the thermometer too. Give me a moment, please. I'm almost done. Is she really that broke? I thought she was some corporate executive dressed like that, but now she just looks like a broke college kid. I can't go to a doctor, stupid. They'll call my parents and they'll... And I'll be sent back to the delinquent center. But you're bleeding! You need to get it treated. Take me to my teacher. He'll know what to do. No wonder she bought into my story about not going to the hospital. I just didn't want to waste time to ex time explaining it to mom. <laughs> How can get this damn thing valued in person without being ID'd? No way, was she any good? Any good? She's the star of the whole show, man. Damn it. Good morning, Jacob. Hey, man. Good to see you again. Oh, hey, where's Pops? 
I think she's getting her notes ready or something. She should be here in a minute. Oh, by the way. Huh? Hey, Pops. Hello. What did he say? Okay. By the way, I wanted to give you a heads up first. Okay. My bodyguard's joining us shortly. Um, hey, how are you? I'm Jacob. I'm pretty sure he's heard that name before. And he looks kind of big and mean. He's really just a relatively harmless guy. So don't be too alarmed when you see him. <laughs> Poor Jacob. Well, time to get back to work. And I have no idea what Quincy is talking about. There's nothing scary about his bodyguard. Oh, hey, boo boo. Found a parking lot? Yeah, but it's too small. Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> How small? I mean, I mean, we can always take my car instead of yours. Oh, sorry. What, you think my car is bigger than yours? Hmm, I'm pretty sure it is. Probably by a few inches, even. Lucky me. Well, I guess that's not a problem for you then. As long as you don't plan on coming over. I'm coming every day. Uh, I would love to though, but I'm not sure if I could, even if I wanted to. <laughs> Let me check my schedule. Oh, how cute! They're just flirting! I'll be coming today and tomorrow. Stop it. <laughs> He's so cute! Okay. Make me. <laughs> ah! Okay, this was like the best episode so far. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're gonna see be seeing him more in the office now, which is pretty cool. Okay, if you liked the episode, just go ahead and give it a like, comment down below, and just let me know what you think. Okay, bye!